Okay, look at this. I have to go up against all of these wolves, these wolfins. One has a gun and one and all of them are like, I don't know how, how is this like ever possible without safe states. Oh, traitor, traitor, the white hair. I know who he is. Oh my God, he's gonna get a wrecking, <sighs> what? Damn, can you see my face? I hope not. Um, yeah, what the heck was that ending? What the heck was that ending? You might see it in my review soon. Vincent, um, what the heck is that ending? Jeez Louise. But yeah, I finished Kaya. The Dark Lineage. I wish there was more Kaya content, but my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Probably my favorite than Tomb Raider, that's for sure. <laughs> But man, I'm gonna miss this game. I had a whole adventure. It was crazy. It it was crazy. But also that ending, what the heck? <laughs> just damn. Okay. They just did that just to troll. Is that is that what they did? God. If only there was a cutscene that anyways. Yeah, no award. <laughs> What's up guys? You know what? This deserves it. I finally finish Kaya the Dark Lineage. A platformer! And also, can I just, you know what, I'll just say this. I feel like childhood me would definitely have a huge crush on K Kaya, to be to be honest. <laughs> I'm like, damn, there's something about platformers during this time when it was released. I feel like it's very rare for female protagonists, but I don't know what it is. There's a part of me where this game kind of inspired more. But I really enjoy this game. They're like, you know, within the flying and also the air mechanics and stuff like that. I know it's not one of the best out there. And I know there's some parts of it where I feel like, you know, it just doesn't feel complete. Speaking of complete, I didn't really complete the game 100%. Can I just say, trying to get like, you know, enough ex exorcists uh, in terms of trying to heal most of the wolfins is not easy especially when there's like certain strategies to try to make sure they're not dead and stuff like that and also for a platform like this it is hard okay it's not easy but also uh thank goodness the safe states <laughs> it's easy to me <laughs> there is so many mechanics in this game that i can go on about and there's many platformers out there that are somewhat better than kaya it's just that there's a I really wish there was more Kaya. There was I don't know what it is. This is kind of like the second female protagonist prop, you know, game that like Kaya and also Jade from Beyond Good Evil that I just finished. Like it feels like a rarity, but there's just something about those female protagonists that made me feel like, man, you don't really see those anymore. You don't see that 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 drive anymore or like the essence i don't know what it is i don't know how they designed them or anything but it's like you that's so rare nowadays when it comes and maybe it's like you know of course female protagonist games like now is it's it's, 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 it's all it's really good okay but there's something different about back then where it felt like a gift you know how that feeling when you exercise you go to the gym and you go for three hours and once you get an ice cream, it's more satisfying than compared to getting ice cream like now when you're doing nothing. Like which one's more satisfying? You exercising, going on a treadmill and for three hours and then you get a, a prize like either a drink or ice cream or something at the end or a nap. <laughs> the best thing ever. One of my best naps was basically like after I work out and it's the best thing. But when I'm doing nothing and I just go back to bed because it just doesn't feel right. And that's what it feels like when it comes down to seeing female protagonists within games during this time, this era that it showcased. And it's like, yeah, it does feel like a true gift. It feels something because you see so many dudes in a sausage vest, you're like, man, I don't know. I don't want to sound like I need a Car Sar Sarkeesian, Carkeesian, Marquesian, or Tari Tarkeesian. But this is just one of those games where I'm like, yeah, this is definitely within the balance of, you know, could be a platform that is one of, you know, my favorites during the time. But it's so rare because I never really heard about this game until I found out about Nitro Rats video. And there's another game that I'm going to play that is kind of like the male version of Kaya in a sense. So that's coming up. It's called Haven. But 
yeah, for there's so many things to talk about this game because it's just like the beauty of games like, you know, from the PS2 era, there is an aspect of that time where games are looked at in a certain way where I'm like, that looks unbelievably beautiful. There is a beauty behind some of these games, the way they look and they visualize that it really does catch. It really does. And I don't know how to analyze it, but when I, you know, when I first played uh, Jack and Daxter 2, there is a world that I see through the map, through everything, where I see basically the whole entire city. And I'm like, this will be trapped in my mind for decades because of the memories of just seeing that whole landscape. And I would say the same for this game as well. I kind of play a lot of these games. I want to play a lot of these PS2 games because it almost felt like, you know, it's taken the same dimension as Jack or Sly Cooper or just like any of those games that went out, you know, around back in the, you know, 20th century. But for this one, I, I really enjoyed like, you know, what I... In uh, pretty much, or and by the way, the reason why I'm doing this is because I, it looks like my screen, is about to you know go go dark. Like I don't know why it's getting darker or something. Like what's happening? It, I gotta turn on the brightness. The heck? Okay, it's all the way down. Jeez Louise. <laughs> there we go. Now that's better. Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, Kaya was a masterpiece. I mean, the Wolven's annoying. <laughs> That's for sure. Like some of them, especially holding guns, when they actually hold a gun against you, some, like you know, you can't really escape it. It's kind of a bit hard. And what what else? Like you know, the puzzles, the puzzles are okay, I guess. Some of the the dialogue that Kaya has, I wish there was more. There, I feel like, you know, there was. She's not my favorite character in terms of the way she acts or something, but the skill set and the way she moves, like I guess that's another. <laughs> Where I'm like, oh, that seems, that that looks nice. I'm already a fan. And I really wish there was more Kaya. <laughs> because what is up with that ending? You're telling me that ending, we're just going to leave it at that? Like, did Kaya live or not? I feel like that's supposed to be, and not to spoil. I don't think I'm going to spoil it. Or if I am, you know. I feel like the gameplay, you, it's definitely worth it. That... <laughs> To see, you know, pretty much, the, you know, so basically ignore some spoilers right now, you know, pretty much cut the video if you want. I'm going to try not to spoil it, but basically the ending feels like a continuation for another Kaya, which of course we didn't get any. And also the landscape that you rebuild in the city, I don't know if there was much progress around that. It's definitely a game of its time where it's trying to get you familiar with the sense of rebuilding the population, saving all the all the villagers and basically, you know, taking, you know, some revenge against your father. Because this game is basically about the relationship of Kaya and his father, which is a complete, you know what, and... Yeah, it, it just, I thought there was going to be a moment, because I don't really care about the fodder, but I really thought there was going to be a return of, like, you know, like, you know, them coming together. I don't think there was a happy ending surrounding this game, and there is just something sad about Kaya the Dark Lineage, where I feel like it couldn't have gone to a happier sense of what the story is trying to tell, but I don't think it is about the story. I think it's about the platforming, the puzzles. And some of the puzzles is a bit tricky and, you know, hard, especially surrounding the freaking running, like, you know, hopping giraffe or whatever that thing is called. And, you know, some of it is just like, you know, there's so many other areas in this game where it hasn't been discovered. I heard you get to see the cast that actually created this game somewhere in there. And also you get to play soccer, which is something that I always thought that Kaya was kind of like, you know, that's like what she is like, you know, in many ways that a, a soccer player or if for some people football. But now thinking about it, if for those that remember this a long time ago, if you go type it on YouTube, you know, that, that would be nice. There's this show called Juniper Lee. And also, yeah, it's kind of like a lot like Kaya. The whole thing about the, the show, which is kind of a style that's coming back. 
the the shirt the crop top that is showing your stomach or something like that that most females wear during that time that i was attracted to that was kind of like a trend during that time now it's coming back it's something that i guess you know for a lot of these games sort of have and that i'm just like oh my gosh that 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 is something that is that looks cool and attractive little little old me it's from it's probably probably in his pants right now just thinking about okay let's just be real here but yeah, it's just like it really sets a certain style, just like how it was back in the day. And and I feel like if I play this back then, it would be literally the best game that I would ever play. Really, it will be up there with Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper or Jack and Dexter or Metal Gear, you know. And yeah, for games or platformers like this, is it the best? There are certain aspects like the wall climbing is a pain. Some of the snowboarding I don't like. And also some of the aspects of levels and mini games, I just didn't really care much. I really don't. And also what's the point of rebuilding the village? And especially being the only woman. That, that's the another thing. Kaya is literally the only woman in this whole entire game. There is like, it's all dudes. And like she's the only woman. That, that's kind of like another thing I noticed. I don't know why I didn't notice that, but that's what I also noticed. I don't know why this game is sort of centered around. Like I'm making this game sound like it's centered around her gender in, in a sense, but I mean the way it's looked at or something. It just I don't I can't help it. It feels like that way, doesn't it? But yeah, I really want to see more Gaia, but that's just you know in the past. The past is the past, and the game itself. It's, I guess it's okay, but to me, I can definitely sense in my childhood that this would be the best platformers out there. Um, but it's enjoyable. Now, should you play it? If you're into Jack and Daxter, if you're into like, you know, those types of games during that time, I feel like this could also be up there, you know? But there's many platformers that I never tried during that time that I wanted to try right now. And I guess it's one of them just to add on the list because. I finished this game, I seen for what it is, and I see, been through all the levels, and not all the levels are fondly, you know, you know, ever, you know, entertaining. I remember that definitely the lava level. I hate that. <laughs> I hate the lava levels. That's that wasn't fun at all. And what else? There was um like even the first was kind of like still developing a wet in a sense. And also some of the stealth levels, I just don't understand with the stealth but i kind of get it now when you're trying to go head first just to take out these wolfins and yeah that was not easy man like i feel like this game you know and also good fighting as well i like the combat it's not bad but i feel like they could have developed a bit more of like what could it be especially surrounding the story like what else is for the story like, you know, I want to see what her life is like back in real reality, but we don't get that. Um, but yeah, also, I'll hit the spoiler button. Yeah, the father. I hate him. <laughs> Literally called her own daughter a bastard, okay? I just, what is up with the hatred of the father and for his own daughter? What did, like, it doesn't add up and it doesn't add up to the anger, especially when the death scene of the father came in at the ending that also doesn't make any sense like we could have just revived like i don't know some things don't feel complete especially the father especially for the brother turn into a wolf because basically this whole game itself is basically about you know saving the brother and what what about the mother where's the mother in all this that's what i want to know i really want to know the mother one to know like what's going on within how that can strike with like you know also see more females but but all most importantly to just you know see what is the start or what is the relationship of the family and the parents and stuff you know that kind of lore and second is also to know what the heck is kaya is kaya black I is she black or not <laughs> is she puerto rican huh yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the brother i'm like yeah or is she white with dreads and you know darker skin like, like, what the heck is she? <laughs> like, I can't tell. Are those actually dreads? Anyways, um, yeah, this game, man, I really want to see more of it. Damn it. I really want to, you know, just witness more. And I feel like I just lived in this whole world for so long in, you know, of, of Kaya because I was just having a blast just traveling around and seeing what this world is about. And that's what this game is about. It's that traveling what this world is about, you know, and I 
truly enjoyed it. I don't know what else to talk about other than like, hey, it's okay, platformer, not fun of the windy stuff. And there's a lot of things I'm not fond over. But I will say this, it completed my childhood. That's what I would say. For games like this, and the reason why I kind of like, you know, because it's a good platformer, has a attractive, like, you know, you know, protagonist, and has cool, like, adaptions to, like, gameplay, puzzles, and also challenges, mini games. You, you waste your time a lot in this game, actually. And I kind of enjoyed it for that aspect alone. You know, or many of those aspects. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and adjust. Listen, I finished Kaya Dark Lineage. I was about to go into many levels and tell you which one sucked, which one was good, which one is this and that. There is many parts in this game where I haven't traveled, but I guess I'll just leave it at that. Other than me ranting and yelling and stuff, which I don't think I did, but let's just face it, maybe I did. Uh, thank you guys for watching this review. One love of the beast. God bless.